Art in Five, Paul Gauguin. Paul Gauguin, one of the most influential artists of the late 19th century, was born in Paris in 1848. His family was of French and Peruvian descent, and Gauguin spent much of his youth shuttling between France and South America. He was largely self-taught as an artist, and his early career was marked by a series of failures and setbacks. In 1883, Gauguin made a life-changing decision. He abandoned his job as a stockbroker and moved to Brittany, a rugged region in western France that was renowned for its traditional way of life. There, he began to experiment with a new style of painting that combined bright, flat colors with bold, simplified forms. His paintings from this period, such as Vision After the Sermon and The Yellow Christ, were unlike anything else being produced at the time, and they caused a sensation in the art world. Despite his growing reputation as an artist, Gauguin remained restless. He was unhappy with the commercialism and conservatism of the French art scene, and he yearned for a more authentic, primitive way of life. In 1891, he set sail for Tahiti, a French colony in the South Pacific that he hoped would offer the inspiration and freedom he craved. The reality of life in Tahiti was far from idyllic. Gauguin struggled to adapt to the harsh living conditions, and he was often beset by illness and financial difficulties. Nevertheless, he threw himself into his work, producing a series of paintings that celebrated the beauty and vitality of Tahitian culture. His most famous works from this period include Tahitian Women on the Beach and Where Do We Come From? What Are We? Where Are We Going? Gauguin's time in Tahiti was fraught with controversy. He was accused of exploiting the local people, and some critics dismissed his paintings as exoticist fantasies. Nevertheless, his work had a profound impact on the art world, inspiring a generation of artists to explore new forms of expression and break free from the constraints of Western tradition. Gauguin returned to France in 1893, but he was unable to shake his fascination with the South Pacific. He made a second trip to Tahiti in 1895, but by this time the island had changed dramatically. The French had imposed their own culture on the island, and Gauguin found it increasingly difficult to connect with the local people. He eventually settled on the nearby island of Hivaoe, where he spent the remainder of his life. Gauguin's later years were marked by a series of personal and financial crises. He struggled to sell his paintings, and he was plagued by health problems and isolation. Nevertheless, he continued to paint until the end of his life, producing a body of work that was as daring and innovative as anything he had done before. Today, Gauguin is remembered as a pioneer of modern art, a man who pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in his time and opened up new avenues of creativity for future generations. His work continues to captivate audiences around the world, offering a window into the exotic and mysterious worlds he so brilliantly captured on canvas. Art in Five, Paul Gauguin.